Hey, what's up, Easy here. I'm going to show you how to customize your shadow draw distance in this video, but first I kind of want to show you why this is important and why you should consider doing it. So this clip that you're seeing is with the uh, preset on medium for shadow distance, and as you can see, the shadow gets rendered right in front of you. So it's just, it's ugly, it's an eyesore, it's probably not how you want to experience the game, right? So this clip is with the preset on high, and just notice how much farther it takes for the shadow to stop being rendered. It, it's much farther. It's, it's a big jump from medium to high, and you have to think about what that's doing in a city where there's like 20, 30, 40 buildings all packed together. So what I'm doing here is I'm going down to the ground just to give you an idea of can you see that shadow if you were standing on the ground. And as you can see there's rocks, there's trees, there's just so much distance in between you and it that even if it was flat ground or you were uphill and it was downhill that you probably wouldn't be able to see it. So theoretically there's no reason for it to be rendered, right? Right, so this clip is actually of Ultra, and if you're thinking it looks the same, well, you're right in one aspect, it does look the same, but it's not actually the same clip. I wouldn't do that to you guys. I wouldn't ever shit you guys because you're my favorite turds. So you can see that there is like a placebo effect happening with the Ultra setting, and this is basically how I perceive the shadow distance presets in the launcher options. Basically, medium should be labeled low, there is no medium, high should be labeled ultra, ultra is just a placebo effect of high and does nothing. So the developers really really trolled us on this one and this is what we have to work with. But luckily we can edit an INI file and change this. So this is a clip of my custom setting which is in between uh, medium and high basically and as you can see the shadow is it's just you know it's just right for me in my opinion and my opinions based off of just playing the game for about 10 hours and getting an idea of how far you can actually see things because as you can see here I land and that's basically where the shadow stops rendering can't see it there's like a hill there's just stuff so I try to get on like high ground to get a better angle of it it's just you know just, there's just very very few spots where you would realistically see that shadow being rendered and one of the few realistic spots is um, if you play like I do and you use super speed and you use the super jump you might notice it but usually when you're playing like this, you're not really noticing things like that because everything is, you know, going so much faster and the, the gameplay is just much faster paced. Okay, so now to actually do this, what you need to do is just go to your folder explorer and click on your C drive. And then in the top right, you'll have your search box and you need to type Fallout 4 dot ini and it is going to search for the configuration file when it finds it you need to right click on it and tell it open file location and there's two different versions of the game the steam and the non steam and in my case it's in users slash pc name slash documents slash my game slash fallout 4 there should be a folder in there named saves along with it just so you know you're in the right place and what you're looking for inside of this folder is the file named Fallout 4 Prefs for preferences. And the lines that you're looking for inside this file are FDIR shadow distance equals, and then it'll be a number, F shadow distance, and then equals a number. So the medium setting is 3000, the high setting is 14000 and the ultra setting is 20,000. So that gives you an idea of the troll graph that I made about how accurate it is because it's pretty accurate. Um, you know, you go from 3,000 to 14,000 to 20,000 
and then the 20,000 doesn't do anything more than the 14,000. So you basically have low and max, and your difference between low and max is almost a factor of five, and those are your only two settings basically. So that's a pretty big deal. So what I've done is I, I'm using 8,000, and you know, that's more than double of medium, and that's almost half of high, which is the same as ultra. And just for the testing purposes, I did change this to 30,000, so ultra's 20. I changed it to 30,000, and seeing if I could like tell a difference, like if shadows were being rendered farther away than they were with just on ultra, and they were not. So it was the exact same at 14, it was the exact same at 20, and it was the exact same at 30. And I think the 8,000 is a, just a great middle ground sweet spot for uh, my personal hardware capabilities. So after you change those two lines, make sure that you save the file. And then what you should do is you should right click on the file and then go to properties and then check the box that says read only and then hit OK. And that's going to make it so the launcher cannot revert the changes and dump it back to either 3000 or 14000. But when you mark the file as read only, anything that's in that file can't be changed, which I'm thinking is like the difficulty, even the sound options, like literally like everything is in that file. So make sure that your settings are, you know, pretty much where you want them because to go in and change something, you will need to uncheck that box, the read-only box, and then you will need to load the game up and make the change. And then after you make the change and you want to mark the box read-only again, it could have revert your settings. So if you have adjusted like the god rays or the shadow distance or any of the other things that you can manually change inside of that file, they will most likely get reverted back and you'll have to do them all over again. So that's all I got. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. See ya.